It's okay. Shit. Another round of applause for Black Rain. Best time to write is yeah. the best place to write is yeah. the best person to write is. Yeah. And if anyone has a micro SD card with some data on it, I could use it. So hit me up when I get off the stage. Our next performer, um, so you know, I love all poets that I deal with, but if I had to like pick a poetry crush, it would be our next performer. Um, she's come out many times to writing that stuff, sometimes without pay. So I really appreciate all her effort over the years she's been doing. Um, if she is ready, please welcome Keisha Nicole Foster. Hello? Hey. Hey. I'm Keisha Nicole Foster. I'm from Cleveland. Yeah. 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 I'm in poems. <clears throat> for Michael. We are laughing at the mockery of everyday economic depression, paychecks withholding taxes taken from a controlling government. Relaxing. Disregarding real people issues, suited and booted for a false battle. Faces of babies set in stone, dimple impressions depressed from the inside jaw out. Hunger pains over power innocence, a survival spirit starts, hearts torn into. We are dancing to the offbeat common two-step music blaring from Capitol Hill, commercial rap lyrics. We, the people of the United States of America, waxing gas faces with the rhetoric, put your hands on your hips, bounce that ass a bit, male or female. We are sitting at bar stools throwing shots back to jukebox tunes blaring. That's a chance I'll take, baby I'll stay. Heaven can wait, no. If the angels take me from this earth, from where we walk, we lay. Heaven did not wait on Michael. Heaven will not wait on us. Dreams are little destinies and pigtails, double dutching on cracking concrete in the jungle, waving handkerchiefs for an SOS, creating smoke, cloudish images, imagining a creation of colors treated equal, unbalanced, solid ground, unraveling under ankles, breaking love, pieces of weak parts and lives. This system, poetry, rapes the soul. Music soothes, said soul. This next poem is Random Thought. Time to see everybody. Random thoughts speak plain or fall slow, depending upon configuration of sentences, words on lines forming railroad tracks, departing from sadness, passing through high mountains, arriving in madness, running into walls, into a frenzy, knotting hills and heads. Thoughts random, sketching loose sketches on forearms of babies, etching Indian Sanskrit cursive blank pages. The writer, next pinpoint of inexpensive pen, writes a jungle, entangled vines hanging, wrapped around wicked, wilted tree stumps. Corners of crack houses, housing two or more animals, sitting primitive style, back arched, hunkered over flames. Big lighters, lighting stems of crack pipes. Depends what side you're from, they're all the same, our stories. These thoughts we randomly engage in. Erotic eyes glaze over, starstruck stuck, mimicking mirrors, staring at faces, smiling. Because this, this causes no pain. Smiling, sitting, thinking about the novels we complete in a thought. If we all wrote, all would walk across pages, sun up to ease down, writing random factual thoughts, flashbacks fresh, young felines prancing for cats, tails tooted in air purring because adulthood was a myth older people made up. Though we witness aging with eyes open, we close them in selfishness, blame age. This day in, thoughts connect forming hard clay pavements, foundation for feet, sand platypus, bitch. 
rules of life laws and random thoughts. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs>
Only the moving thing should be your heart beating, empathy clasping, loving yourself and someone named another. We speak our thoughts about race, a psychological dis-ease that has people acting unjust, acting ignorant, wailing in our sleep. REM flutters the mind and dream occurs. This is where your mind advances. The thing only moving when all else stops is the cat that licks its paw on the corner stoop under the stars, Sirius A and B, invisible, gaining blue-black force, digitaria. There is a history that is growing more red, more hateful. Smiles are slithered, slanted to give the illusion of kind. Absolute energy will let you know we just need to breathe and let correct fill our veins. Let it sit there, cease. Wrap yourself around a street pole. Place your ear to the sidewalk. Let the bloody pavement serenade names. Place your palm on a tree bark. Let the nectar of strange fruit drizzle fingers. In a room full of sheep and standstill people, be the voice that asks luxurious questions. Body suffocated with rugged answers. Allow a voice to serenade the only moving thing that stands up for those that are muted by brutal morph into the checks and balances that have disappeared with the detained children. The only moving thing that matters is time. Don't stick. Become unhinged and daring. Embody revolution. Knowledge the self. Free your dome for freedom. If you see a black bird in a frame, surrounded by opaque, struggle sinking for air to breathe because most times it cannot please give yourself permission i beg you to be the only moving thing that is not full of fear all right, all right. this is another ephrastic poem i read it the same night it is after a painting called fish love and it is by leslie discount arium my father was a fish. His math is understanding, knowledge understanding, power refinement, build, destroy. 13, 3, 1958. Living one state over. Daily, I stared in the mirror at his face, growing into my reflection. Voice booming, I love you. Comfort, charcoal, shadows. A beautiful stillness dwells in the fish the manner that they engage without speaking, a silent drawing on paper that asks for attention with permanent, watery eyes. My first lover was a fish. He adored me, 13 years older, over my age 18. I learned that alcohol and love, mixed media, cannot breathe in unison, that age difference gaps maturity. There is a rage that age ebbs with the fish in spirits, a red bird with one wing and three eyes, a heart and heart, acrylic vessels calloused, a strain on growth they stump in their nature. My daughter's father is a fish, seems my Saturn though is a pescatarian, enjoys the restless tail fin, the spiraling into themselves, unwrapping and wrapping in sorrow and insecurities. They can never find their stride, tend to not want to find it. That is too difficult to accept your graphite pencil, draw against the jilted grin, always a fox turning into a foe. The fish doesn't always like to mingle in clean water. Due to, to their bending, they sometimes swim downstream into dirty paint water, secondhand filtration. This is spiritual, how they connect this God. There is another fish that swims around. Time tells me to take it. I do. Days have turned into months and no communication. Feel sturdy. Clinginess of fish love allows no room to sigh, no place to call peace. A goat as myself needs land, needs a mountain to topple over or down a few times before I settle in ease at the top. My horns whisper, do not go near the water again. Not yet, they tell me, to listen to your forebears and build entities, say. You can't be fool and leader. These fish, they make you fool. This love is a pierced dream, soon to erupt, maintains. You'll get wet. Ain't you tired of getting wet? Don't you want to lay on the beach and let another element come and love on your body? States, your soul needs to be loved and died with India ink. Needs no water. You are wilted. Stop wilting yourself. My horns make it known. Fish love is straight with no curve. Distant love. It is selfish. It is the eye and iris dilating an alliance. 
It is the people in the painting being one fish let of his prisoner to his owner and the one that wants to help is draining, is rough, I speak. It is the wisdom understanding of my DNA when I was raised under the first man I loved was fish, I declare. To love any other is betrayal to the very essence of my ancestors. I was born to till bearing ground, weight, being solitude, being loved from afar. I will not hurt myself again. I am not equipped to save again. My arms are only long enough for love, the listeners of my words. I cannot stretch them around a wrinkled sea creature shirking in chaotic bubbles. I affirm I love fish because they love me. Pause. Fish love is filled with addictions, with lies and secrets. It is a complicated deal of cards. It takes sorrow and second chances to look at a painting, see the most important tales of one's life, intertwined in the eye that is staring at this moment, waiting on a fish to swim to shore. The painting will always leave you questioning the validity of the bodies that are open and connected, closed yet inviting. It is the parts of all some. It is mystery and love. When I view the art at fish, it is love. Disposable memories. <clears throat> My mind races to the wall, touches it, races back to the beginning, the end of it all. Memories replacing television sets in my house. Close my eyes. I view nights. Start at sundown, end at sunup. Still sundown inside drug houses. Dark inside. Destruction pounding the bed springs within mattresses under me. Once before, I rode white horses, black bulls, and silver bullets like nobody's business. It wasn't. I made sure it was all mine. Repeating catchphrases, set phases of my life, appear in check directorial debuts, small screenings, all ratings, no critics. Old reruns of seasons and HDTV, downing bottles of vodka. I was absolutely drinking grown men under tables, plates on tops of same tables, bodies naked to view wounds unnoticed. I'm speaking on my mind. The dirty tricks it plays and rewinding and replaying. Explain the details, the after hour spots. People you only see at four in the morning with blood, red eyes, clothes, crooked, uncreased, and gray heels of shoes and that lifestyle appearance because the Letters, rock bottom, hit now. No more theatrical interests entering 11 minutes after the two hour delay. Something happened. A remote control fast forwarded all the noises. Turn the volume down. The black and blues and creeps and technicolor, dulling the white noise, silently humming my eyes to low. Slow blink, lids closed, disconnecting. Cable boxes, no energy surge, no connection for myself. So how for you, my people? When I speak old school pavement language, breaking barriers, my mind races to, race back to the beginning. Two more. That's it. Thank you all for listening to me this far. Thank you all for listening to all of us, actually. I love Orange. This is for Cleveland, 216. Hey! Kinsman, huh? Superior art, some strips that make up 216. It's what you dial before the number to holler at someone from Cleveland in the city where I come from, where I rest. On late nights, ride through hot spots, spitting this intellectual game the good Lord gave me, trying to pick up a date for the night with my body body girls creeping like the professional through the streets, incognito, not being seen or heard, cuz 216 is like that. Cleveland is the pulse of Ohio, saving the best for last. Saving the best for last. Tally hitting in the Tower City, not the period unless money is involved. This is the city where a brother will hustle for six months, ball for two then, is thirsty in the end because he tried to impress his friends and females with his system, splurging on little kids, giving credit where they do, flossing. This is the city where a female will talk stuff in your face and do your do behind your back and then she'll go to church on Sunday because she's a Christian. <laughs> How you like that? This 
in the city of CP time. You gotta be there at five, leave your house at 450, arrive in the seven what? At least I made it is the famous line in Cleveland, the blue line, tells you the van Aiken where you went back to the 541 or 14 going west. It's a hot spot on Saturday afternoons. Everyone's going down Kinsman Pass, storefront churches, part-time hustlers, cracked out fiends, hoochies, but cut off, short stretch marks, high STDs, cause it's real in Cleveland. I don't think you feel me, nor my city, where the weather changes. Every 15 minutes, you'll never look stupid with a jacket. This in a city where our mayor was a thief, lied to us every day, left his wife for power and solved the problems that he had control over. Two on six where CPD pulls you over because you look good and they slack so much they rush to make their quota. Arrest the innocent minds with no remorse. Maybe a few jokes before you go to jail. This in the city where you wobble wobble, you bounce ass all night, you sweat your weave out, you eat out the best steak and play pool, ride through the flats, maybe grab a brew, blow your amp out, get live, in Cleveland, Cleveland, the mistake on the lake, area code 216. This is the last call, thank you all so much. <laughs> oh, this poem called Completion. Means it is final. From a start came a finish. Ain't end. A new beginning to aim end. It is an accomplishment. A fulfillment. A promise to oneself to go through. The mud and muck. The lies and deceit. Self-hate and self-abuse. It relates to being intact. It is an answer to a question. It is endurance. Running through rain, feet painting endurance to abide, to persist. As a mosquito to your go as a mosquito to your goal, smell the blood. Search the area for the blood. Puncture the skin and suck. To outlast and outlive. A survival tactic we have to remain, to wait, to endure, to linger. If the wind strong standing tree barks, our knees are to sway, and our bodies are to endure. In any season, any environment, long and slow, we must suffer while working and eagerly waiting, while in movement, motion, kindness to our person and to others. Don't quit is a poem. It is real. Life is alive. We are tangible and impressionable upon each other's soul. If I see you press on, then the impression left on me is to press on. It is a cycle, a repeat, repete, redo. Out the box, step on your square. We are chess pieces on a board. Strategic, our thinking and our actions must be. We must stop self-torture with our thinking. Will put us in a jail cell, put us in a box on a corner, under the watchful eye of a fist, daily beatings we put ourselves through. Confusing thoughts, evil thoughts, sexual thoughts, depressing thoughts, random thoughts that we have pondered over to no avail. We are dumb humans like that at times, forgetting we are the answers to most questions, forgetting forgiveness, weeping willows. We are hunched over and rocking in the way we are. Five steps ahead of the game, yet think we know not what we know to survive. It's not easy. It's awkward, uncomfortable, itchy. We want comfort immediately. Instant gratification. Starches are to be cooked slow to retain texture and taste. Bechamel is a mother sauce and must be created with patience and respect. Risotto has to be babysat. Our dreams have to be babysat. We must patiently nurture what we create in the mind. Stop nurturing hate and pain. Nurture one's mind for a completion. Struggling for good feels way better than struggling for bad. It is the simple things and thoughts that produce quality. We are the details in this pattern of umbling. Let ourselves be fine stitching instead of tattered threads. Sweat and pain and fear for so a positive change feels good. You are blessed when you step on faith and change. You are beloved. Blessed are those who endure, no matter the faith or what you may call God. Blessed are those who endure completion is a bittersweet, sweet topping. It is savory cherry. Stand straight. Love yourselves. Pray. Peace.